Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and I am Subhash Chandra. In this video, I wanted to highlight about some of the areas you should never open during an interview. So without wasting your time, let's get started. So the first one I don't want you to speak about is distillation column piping. Distillation columns are a more rare columns in any process plan. You can find only couple of columns in a overall process plan. So everybody will not get an opportunity to work. Moreover, since this is a, such a critical uh, equipment, nobody will get an opportunity except a senior piping designers. So being four to five years and being six years, and if you are really going to talk about the distillation column piping, then you have to be concerned. If you do not have an experience, do not open your mouth. It's not required at all. You can always say that I have worked for a pump, I worked for a heat exchanger, I worked for filters, I worked for pipe racks, those are okay. But do not open your mouth for column distillation piping, which is one of the critical piping. Moreover, only very less candidates get an opportunity to work. So industries are already aware about it. If you go and speak to any piping, experienced piping interviewers, you will be caught. Okay. This is one area I wanted to highlight. Second, compressors. Compressors is also one of the critical uh, equipment and one of the very less equipments I would say actually. So in, in a plant, you can see a lot of pumps. You would see a lot of uh, heat exchangers. You would see a lot of filters. You would see a lot of pressure buses. But you will see very less of compressors because compressors, the cost of compressors is too high. So uh, process plant cannot simply uh, have 10-15 compressors basically. Entire process plant will have one or two compressors. So if you go and tell that I've worked in compressors, I've done, done this, then there will be a lot of another questions of how you manage the vendor information, those things. See, if you are already experienced in compressor piping, no issues. But if you do not have an experience just for a namesake to get an attention of the interviewer, you are um, talking about compressor piping in the sense, please don't do it. You will be caught because there are lots of parameters are uh, to be evaluated in compressor piping. Likewise, let's go to the third one, turbine piping. Turbine piping is also similar to compressor piping. It's one of the rarest actually and the numbers of turbines also very less. You can speak about pumps or any other things but do not open your mouth in compressors and turbines because there are lots of critical issues are there actually. Especially they would ask about how many number of spring supports are installed. How did you manage to balance the spring loads actually. All these things will be uh, the the talk of discussion how we manage the stress analysis and what kind of temperature so please don't speak if you're not experienced and the fourth area i wanted to talk about is that fin fan coolers or air coolers we can see see air coolers are also considered to be the um, uh, critical equipments and uh, one of the very rarest equipments but uh, the reason why i'm telling you is that see air fin coolers and uh, fin fan coolers pipings are mostly done by experienced person because these are critical equipment as i said that's one of the reason why you don't get an opportunity it, the piping is not complex basically but the arrangement and how the nozzles are connected and what are the uh, ratings of this nod nozzles how it is supported what, see fin fan coolers are placed on the top tire of the pipe rack. So the arrangements are totally different than the conventional piping base. So don't ever say that you have already worked on fin fan coolers if you having no experience in it. And now let's go to the fifth one. The fifth one is do not talk about low temperature piping. Low temperature piping in the sense piping which has a temperature less than minus 29 degrees Celsius. Generally our carbon steel uh, materials will work up to minus 29 degrees Celsius that is as per B31.3. But don't speak about if an interviewer asks you about whether you have worked in uh, temperature which is less than 40 degrees Celsius. Just for a namesake, don't tell it because there are complications such as even support is uh, totally different than the normal supports. The supports used in um, uh, the low temperature services are completely different than the supports used in common lines. And material also has uh, the temperature PT rating issues are there actually. So better not to speak about the low temperature lines and if you have not experienced. And the last one is extremely high temperature piping. So extremely high temperature pipings are what? The piping temperature which are more than 250 degrees Celsius, which are known to be high temperatures. See the line temperature, if it is above 150 degrees Celsius itself is high temperature, but provided if your temperature 
so are more than 250 degrees celsius then your thermal expansions are going to be crucial there will not be a lot of spring supports there will be a lot of issues in handling the expansions basically so if you had said that yes i have worked in lines which are more than 250 degrees celsius then the interviewer will start questioning about the supports moreover they will, he will start questioning about the materials whether it's a carbon steel or stainless steel or alloy steel on the services he will be more interested to know because generally the lines which are uh, which have which will have a uh, temperature more than 250 degrees celsius will be very lesser so i will meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from subhash chandra